So basically, suppose you have an F2B server and an SSH server, which you want to hide from public, from the public. For example, suppose I'm scanning your website using Nmap. If you use port knocking, okay, the um, your SSH server and FTP server will appear to be open on their ports, but you cannot connect to them, meaning that you can't use any brute force and exploitation for those two servers because the connection will be refused by the IP tables. This is in action today. So here my Kali machine, which is will act as or which is going to act as the client who's trying to connect. And here I have my server, for example. I have SSH server and FTP server. So if I look, take a look at my IP tables. Okay, my IP tables here, as you can see, I have two rules to prevent public connection to port 22 and port 21 with ICMP port unreachable. Okay, so I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use now um, knock D, okay, which is open source, to let my server receive only connections on those SSH and FTP servers only if a criteria limit of sequential ports. So here is the knock knock D you can download it uh, from GitHub, okay, it's open source, okay. Now here's my rules, okay. Those rules, okay. The first rule is opening SSH, okay, and closing SSH, opening FTP and closing FTP. So first, if I connect to this server using those sequential ports or, or connecting uh, using this set of ports sequentially and consecutively, the knock D will instruct IP tables or will remove the rule that rejects connections to the to my SSH server. Now if I trigger back uh, the connection using those sequential ports, the knock D will instruct or will insert another rule back that rejects connection to my port 22. So for example, suppose I am um, performing some administration job from my home or, or from outside or remotely. Now all I have to do is trigger the connection or doing port knocking using this port sequentially and I will I will have an access to my SSH server okay now if I want to close if I want to close the SSH server back all I have to do is to connect to my server using these four ports sequentially so let's see that that in action so here my client machine I'm gonna use knock which is the client version of knock D. Here is on this machine I have this is knock D. Knock D is the server. Okay. So let me close this. I'm gonna now run my server specifying a debugging mode to see all the connections in action. Minus I my interface. Let me clear this. I don't like it. And interface. Okay. Now my server is listening to my connection. So let's trigger the first set of ports. Okay, this is the first set of ports. Okay, as you can see, one one thousand one hundred eleven zero one eleven zero two. Connect. Now you can see here is my three connections as you can see here, but it's saying that there is something wrong with the IP table command here. Uh, let me see here. Oh, okay, I have something here wrong. Let me copy my command to be deleted. Paste it the same as it is. And 
the same thing for FTP Okay, now let's rerun our server again. Okay, trying to connect back. Wrong here, no chain, target match, like that, name. Um, let me see here. Okay. Now, SSH to my server, it should respond with, or should accept the connection. As you can see now, I can log into my server if I put the, the right password. Now, suppose I want to close the connection or let the knock the insert an IP table entry that will reject the connection. Suppose I am done with my work. And I have to close the server back. And all I have to do is triggering this sequence. Okay. This sequence will close the server. So here is. Okay. Now the sequence is. Is this. Okay. The sequence of ports, if trigger, if it's, if, if it's triggered, will let the IP tables or will, will let knock the insert and you rule in IP tables that closes off the firewall or the closes off the SSH server. So let's enter here. Trying now to connect. It should refuse the connection. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. SSH. Oops, it should refuse the connection. I don't know what's happening. So here, it's saying the invalid rule number. So closing SSH here, minus PTCP. Okay, now let's run our server again. Now, as you can see now, the connection has been refused. Why? Because I triggered the sequence that if triggered will add a new rule in IP tables that closes off the SSH server. Okay. Now let's start to connect to my FTP server. By default, the FTP server now is closed as stated by the IP table firewall. Now if I try to connect, it will refuse the connection. Connection refuse as you can see. Now I'm gonna trigger the right set of ports which is here to open the server for me. Okay, so let's copy this. And knock. Oh. 
Okay. Now it should now now the FTP server now should be open for connection. As you can see, I can now log into my FTP server. Now I have access. Now let's say I want to close the FTP server back. All I have to do is triggering this sequence, okay, of ports. Let's copy this. And let's knock on our server this, this sequence of ports in order to close the FTP server back. Now, refused. Okay. Now, my server is refusing connection as you can see because I triggered the right set of ports that will instruct the IP tables at, that will insert a new rule in IP tables to reject any remote connections to my FTP server. So that's it. That's port knocking and this way you can secure FTP and SSH server or whatever uh, server is running on your machine from attackers or from brute forcing attacks and keeping keeping your log files clean and tidy okay that's it thank you for watching